home or away, in conference or out, a common thread has run through every UAB football game this season. The Blazers have greater expectations, but for obvious reasons, they win every time they play regardless of the final score. This week, it's different. In its quest for bowl eligibility, UAB kicks off against Rice at 2 o'clock Saturday afternoon at Legion Field, but the program celebrated another victory Friday. Bill Clark and the administration agreed to a new contract, and it didn't come with a hostage video attached. At a lot of programs, where they hand out raises and extensions like Halloween candy, this kind of news would be routine. At UAB, where the routine too often has involved suspicion and distrust, this news couldn't be more extraordinary or more welcome. UAB, Bill Clark agreed to contract extension, big raise. UAB, Bill Clark agreed to contract extension, big raise. UAB and Bill Clark agreed to a multi-year contract extension that makes Clark one of the highest paid coaches in Conference USA. For the first time since coming to Birmingham in 2014, Clark will have a legitimate contract befitting a Division I football coach who's overcome the toughest obstacles in the football bowl subdivision. His first contract was for a suspiciously short term of three years, which turned out to be a prelude to the university president shutting down the program with the applause of the trustees. His second contract was for five years, but the first two years expired before the program played another game. This contract is different, and not just because it raises his current annual salary of $605,000 to $900,000 in the first year of the deal to $1.015 million in the final year, putting him where he belongs among the highest paid coaches in Conference USA. The monetary value of the contract is even greater with the boost it'll provide his state retirement income. In addition, this contract is for a full five years. More to the point, it's for an industry standard of five full football seasons. Look at what Clark has accomplished in four years and two seasons with the Blazers. One six six season. One five three record and counting. One football operations building. One UAD Athletics Foundation. One football program returned from the dead and given its first real shot at living well. The contributions of that foundation which has the full faith and backing of a significant portion of the Birmingham business community, can't be overstated. The foundation's support for Clark helped overcome his camp's early concerns about the negotiations with the administration. He's forged strong relationships with some heavy hitters who treat him as an equal in their vision of what's possible in Birmingham. It's rare for a college coach, especially below the Power Five, to have that kind of access to that kind of influence. Blazer Buzz, UAB vs. Rice TV Info, Key Matchups Blazer Buzz, UAB vs. Rice TV Info, Key Matchups UAB vs. Rice TV Information, Time, Key Matchups As a result, Clark has the opportunity as well as the incentive to reject the feelers that have already begun from other programs in search of a new head coach. People who know him well believe he wants to stay in Birmingham, to continue to build UAB into a Boise state of the South. In the past, the attitudes and actions of the administration and the board made that kind of growth impossible. It's still not clear how much those attitudes have changed, but Clark's new contract is a positive sign. Technically, the deal still has to be approved by the bot. Practically, this news wouldn't have been released without the board's okay. So the momentum continues for UAB football with a win-win deal for the program and everyone invested in it. Next on the to-do list, go beat Rice.